Happy Saturday, guys. You got five days to go shopping. Christmas right around the corner. So is our grand finals. But we got one more present for you. Thanks to our friends at Prophecy. They came back. Winning that uplink game. Solid defense. All side one. Side number two. They controlled it. Parasite scoring multiple times as they were able to force a game five. Now we go the distance. The map, it looks like it's going to be recovery. We're going search and destroy. Duffman, final thoughts on this matchup, and I got to get your new prediction. We're going round numbers here, boys. Stunner is going to win S&D. <clears throat> That's my prediction. Give me um, numbers. 6-5. We're going to go to round 11, just what? like we have been all tournament long. 6-5, round 11. Swanee? Um, overtime stunner. I can see this going horribly wrong, but 6-3 prof. 6-3 prof. Yeah. I'm trying and I'm to not think. going to justify it in any logical way because the, with the results, <laughs> you know, yeah. with the results we've seen this uh, today, it could go anywhere, literally. Yeah, I'm going six four prof. Um, wow. And it's going to be the snipers. We saw them on Biolab. This is much harder to snipe than Biolab recovery, very narrow angles. But if they're able to get those first bloods from Ricky and Legal, I think I think they got it. I mean, Fears was even getting picks with the sniper uh, last time we saw them in S and D. So. Let's get into it. It's going to be Prof on defense first, and I want to see who's pulling it out. Fears has got one. Parasite, none. Legal, none. Ricky, none. So it's all up to Fears to get this pick at it. Looking at Stunner on offense, they do have Vex with the overkill sniper, and uh, that is the only player. So Vex is going to be the one for Flex. So grab your bomb. They're going B. B push. Check this Whoa. out. Whoa. <laughs> and Legal's like, what's up, guys? Been waiting for you. Here? Let's <laughs> hang out. Parasite drops as well, though. 3v3. Perplex still with your bomb. He's going to turn that mute on for a moment. And look at this. Actually rotating back to A. Look at your minimap. Completely brought everyone from Prof over to that B bomb site. Now they have a little bit more of a clear path to B. Ricky's got That's eyes on it, though. He's getting so aggressive. Great cover. As that was Huke who, who laid it down. It looks like uh, Huke now watching mid street. Two players rotating from the back. Legal gets his second kill. Fears well. still up as well. All four down. And it's going to be Fierce getting the defuse. Legal 3-0 and oh off the start. He got that first blood, which Swanee talked about it earlier. Prof, they dominate S&D when they can get first pick. Yeah, I think they thought they were a bit sneaky then. They thought, you know what, we'll switch it up a bit. We'll catch them off guard. We'll, we'll hit B uh, off the first round. And Prof, you know, they, they made them look a bit like fools, to be honest, because Legal was just sat there thinking, you know what, if you want to run it, as I'll just sit back, get the first pick again, exactly like they were doing on Biolab. And I mean, although I would say that they lost the round, it was a good play uh, choosing to rotate the way. And they actually evened up with a 3v3, but Prof uh, ended up managing to, to show their composure and took the round. I, I do like the decision to push B first because even though it didn't work out, it's going to be in Prophecy's mind. They're always going to send a guy there yeah, now. that's a good point. They're yeah. not going to be able to cheat on A throughout this game. Vexy with a big two-piece is going to stop your bomb carrier. Uh, as well as the protection. So it's up to Ricky and Fears. Fears trying to take the low route while Ricky is still trying to watch his flank. And Fears is going to answer on Vexy. So here's a two kill opportunity. What? Fears gets them both. We're all tied up. Perplex now, instantly the last man standing in a one on one. And he's going to pick it up. Taking yeah, him out. By Perplex. Oh my gosh. That's a good round, man. Vexy so quickly shut down the bomb. Then Fears just beasting his way to a two piece. Perplexed with a two piece of his own in your round ending kill cam is going to win the one on one to clutch it up for Stunner. We're all tied after two rounds. Yeah, it looked a bit easy that two piece perplex got. I'm not sure what the prof were doing, at the, whether they got caught off guard or nothing. It just seemed a bit too easy that he was able to trade both kills like I, that. I think Ricky was trying to help with the kill on the front, and then perplex just peaked at the uh, perfect okay. time. So switching it over, let's go to perplex. Speaking of the man, he's got the bomb here. Let's see if he can keep it rolling. He's got some teammates in action already, and it's going to be Huke with first blood on Parasite. I believe he did just see Ricky there. He did see Ricky. Ricky does get a shot into him, but it's going to be a hit marker. 3v2. Huke drops. Now it's up to Fears. Last alive in this 1v2 against Vex and Perplexed. All right, let's go over to Fears as bombs should be planted any moment. And uh, I believe Fears just saw that bomb. So let's see how he decides to play this. He's got to know that there's protection nearby. Doesn't know where Vex is hiding, though. Normally, there's a player to the right there. Uh -oh. Not this time. He gets the kill. Bomb is planted, however. So he's forced to get into action one on one. Solid slow play. And Fears goes for the jump shot, but is punished after hitting his first bullet. 
Yeah, Ricky actually got uh, the hit marker. Ricky got that actually determined the outcome of the round. To be honest, so yeah, I bet he's absolutely gutted about that. But that, uh, oh, yeah. again, it, it's just a risk you take with snipers. You know, you never. There's no guarantee that they're going to kill in one shot. So, you know, you you trade the ability to get first pick with the potential to get a hit marker. Now, uh, we should point out that was a big win for Stunner, who got first blood once again. So far, whoever gets first blood has won the round. We'll see if that stays true throughout the game. Prof for, takes offense. Parasite takes good, your bomb. For good reason as well on this map, because there are so many ways to push. It's impossible to cover it even with four players. So once you get, you take the opposition, you take a man out of the game, it, you're able to dictate the play so much and dictate where you want to push. And um, I think that's Prof getting the bomb down on offense, yeah. Yep. All four are up from both teams. Even so, though, it's a hard bomb to hold here. And Parasite is waiting for the challenge. Fears cover on the back end, takes out TJ. Players are dropping like flies for Stunner, and the last two will drop instantaneously, 2-2. Two, two. We are all tied up, boys. And now this is looking pretty scary for both squads. You're all tied up. You got Fierce, who already has eight kills, though, after just four rounds. And on the other side, Stunner playing very solid as a well-spread squad. Prophecy going to be switching on over to defense now. Stunner. Went to B to start things off, and of course, we talked about how that kind of just floats in the back of Prophecy's mind. I really want to see them go back and uh, attempt that strategy again, um, because they approached B, they didn't get first blooded. I believe they would have actually gone into B. Ricky still peering over at that B site, may have called it out. Meanwhile, the action at A, Legal picks up two already. Ricky now flanking, he should get this third. He's gonna get help from Parasite. So last man is Huke, all by his lonesome. Over on B, wins his one-on-one, -on -one, but he's got three more players to deal with and they are all charging in. Surrounded, Parasite's gonna find him. Look at this movement though. Huke, wow. the man gets two. Can he get the melee? He does, oh! triple. He's got Legal left. Last man in legal oh. clutches, but that could have gone so bad for Prof. Wow. I'm not going to lie, I was absolutely praying for him to get that fourth right? kill because that would have been, it would have been seen in so many montages, so many highlight reels, and so many YouTube videos, but Gosh. unfortunately wasn't able to get it. Still a valiant effort. One thing again to point out, legal again with a clutch two-piece and a crucial round there to open things up. Solid oh, performance uh, by Huke there. Legal. And honestly, I, I haven't watched Huke very much, but the man just showed off his movement in that last play. He's got great movement in this game. Starting things off with Fears. He opened the game eight and two, shut down that previous round. And we're gonna see him at the start get challenged up top. Unfortunately, that player just dipped, so won't find it. But the good news is his teammates cleaned it up anyway. Challenge at B, and that one is gonna be lost by TJ. So all up to Vex. Vex in a one on three, spotted by Fierce. And that was a that was the B push from Prof actually. You know, they thought they saw Stunner first round, they thought, you know what, if you can't push B, we'll show you how to do it. And they just wiped the entire team out. Now, who got the intro kills? Because I was watching Fears up top. Where did those early kills come from, guys? Parasite. Parasite and Ricky got those entry kills, I believe. Nice angle by Fears winning the jump battle. And he extends his KD to nine and three, triple positive at the moment. On the other side, who's been the star? It looks like Huke at six and six and five and five from Vex, but perplexed and TJ Howie, three kills combined in the most important game of their day. Nade connects nice. very quickly from Huke. That's gonna take out Ricky, 4v3, perplexed. Look at Parasite. Drops with your bomb. Parasite getting aggressive. We saw him do this versus Justice, and it caused major problems. But now it's Justice. all up to Legal. One on three. Legal gets one. Can he get out alive? They know where he's at. He's executed. Three to four. Stunner winning another one. Can they tie it up with two rounds in a row? Swanee, yeah, talk, talk to me a little bit about this Stunner squad right now. What have you seen that's worked for them? What hasn't? Well, I'm surprised by TJ Haley actually going one and six because uh, I've all, I mean, I'm not particularly that knowledgeable about him as an individual, but I've always thought he was regarded as uh, incredibly strong on S&D, you know, a bit of an S&D start, sort of put it. Mm -hmm. So for him to go one and six, you know, I expect him to, to pull a lot more out of the bag in this final round, but I think it, <coughs> it's just been a case of Prof doing what what's done, uh, have just been incapable of doing, you know, when they push B, they were able to maintain control of the bomb side far too easily, and then A, they, they, they got the bomb down and defended it. So it's, it's just mistakes by Stunner. 
TJ is behind enemy lines. They got the bomb down in front of him. He's going to be looking for the kills in the back. Going to charge in oh, on wow. Fears as Huke is able to take out Ricky. So two down already. Make it three down as Perplex grabs another. Prophecy has Parasite last man standing. Bomb planted, and he's going to get spotted, executed. Great gun skill there coming in from Perplex, who finishes the last two kills. Yep, that's just an example of how easy it is to actually flank and how many routes there are to take. You know, on this map especially, when you're attacking, it's almost impossible to hold the flank. Even defense, but attacking especially, it's almost impossible to hold the flank. You know, they can come from above the tunnels, below the tunnels, through mid, you know, above mid. They're, they're, they're in an absolute abundance of routes they can take. And although Prof did get control of the bombsite and they pushed up, they, they sort of played it well and just hit the flank. And S and D so far just seems like a guessing game. You you never know where these guys are going to be coming from. You know the bomb is always going to A. The question is who's going to attack first this time? It is Prophecy, Perplexed, and Vex taken down in your first 10 seconds. So two on four, minute 15, make uh -oh. it a one on four for TJ. If you're going to rack up some kills, now's the time. Not happening. He shut down instantly before he can even snipe. Quick shut out there for Prof. Great defensive round. Now. It's going to be up to the guys on the center as they take on defense to try to tie things up. 5-5. Five, five. Parasite will be in your final kill cam. Taking out TJ. Round 11. I said Stunner would take this. You guys said 6-3. Prof. Yeah, my prediction's out the window. Here we go. <laughs> Round 11 is going to be coming up after Stunner wins this defense. I called this 6-4, by the way. Let's see. How oh, whatever. Eat it. Semantics. It's happening. Chris. It's happening. Semantics. <laughs> Let's watch legal 12 and 5. Parasite will grab your bomb here for Prof. They're going to be taking this bomb on over to A. Nade, stuns, come flying in. Already to get there, though, is going to be legal with your first pickup. Legal and Parasite, the duo pushing together. And here's another opportunity. Parasite uh -oh. can't get it. All up to Ricky. One on one versus Perplexed. Perplexed spots him. Ricky backing up. And Ricky just buying that. time, but was able to tag up Perplex with one shot. Ricky, does he see him? Ricky gets another bullet in him. Can't finish, so this is a battle versus an ASM-1, we should point out as well. Difficult push. He does have overclock over here for Perplex. Looking at Ricky, no more. Mute. No, no, uh, no stuns as well. Stalemate right now. <laughs> Both of them just hanging out, waiting for this push. Bomb is down. Has not been planted yet, but it's near that A-bomb site. Ricky's got to get it and go for the plant. Perplex is just going to decide to wait this one out. And this is smart. I mean, Ricky's out of mute. He, he can't get too aggressive without Perplex hearing him. Bomb way back down at the spawn, in fact. So this is this is a rough position for Ricky. He's running out of time. 20 seconds left on the clock. He's got to go for the one-on-one -on -one kill here, right? Has to. He's actually going to wait by the bomb site to see if Perplex is going to come look. He's going to come look, and Call of Duty timing is going to force him to go ahead and put this bomb down. Starts to plant. Perplex is going to turn the corner at the right time, wow. and he does. 5-5. Five, five. We're going around 11. <laughs> Perfectly executed by Perplex. It's wanting to saw me freak out in my chair. I did. Yeah, that, that round was reminiscent of the final round versus... Um at the Columbus Open, actually, with Optic and Phase. You know, it was just an eight-man showdown kind of on the, on the, um, on the A Street. Wow. Here we go. Stunner on offense. Prophecy Ooh, on defense. Buddy. Round 11 overtime. Game 5 here in semifinals of the 2K. Ooh. Perplex grabs your bomb. Huke, 11 and 9. Let's Legal watch already Huke. there. They're going B again, and Legal is there. Perplex with the bomb dropped. Uh-oh. Ricky and Legal snuffing out that B push, shutting it down. So Vex. now, I mean, I'm looking, I'm looking at this stunner squad. What do you do here? Bombs down on the opposite side of the map. It's TJ and Vex left alive. Oh, Vex, eight and eight, second and kills in his team. He's got to play together for picks right now. And the thing is, they're kind of not in the same plus, same position to make a trade. And there it is. It's going to be Vex last alive. He's going to be spotted as well. Has one v three situation, receiving shots. This one's definitely going to be a victory for Prophecy. Yeah, Ricky is just counting down the seconds until Vex shows his face. Fears is there, oh. and that is it. Six five. We went round eleven Almost in the close. semifinals after being up two zero. Prophecy comes back to win three games straight. Incredible performance in CTF set the tone. They clutched up and up like, and here's Fears, Fears with the final kill cam, Jesus. giving them the feels. Giving them the feels. Fears and Legal both 13 and six. You know, I, they've been a duo for a while now, haven't they? But I think it's only on this game they've finally received, you know, a lot of publicity. Yeah.
hundred percent. Solid, solid stuff. With Parasite and Ricky being on that squad. Thirteen and six for the both of them. Prophecy moves on to finals to take on Denial for this December twentieth. Two K. Oh, it's Oof. only getting better, man. It's only get getting better. What a ridiculous tournament so far. Optic Gaming going out in the in the round of eight. Stunner causing the upset. Stunner almost 3 0ing Prof here. Instead, Prof clutching up. And now Denial versus Prophecy. A match that we've seen lots in, in the Pro League. We're going to get a chance to see it here for 2,000 Pro points per player, as well as over 1,000 bucks to first place. Swanee, thoughts on that last game, though? I mean, other than Legal and Fears getting the job done, what was the difference maker for you? Well, I'm looking at TJ Haley and I'm looking at two kills and nine deaths, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, I, I thought if if there was going to be a victory for Stunner, it would have been from him. I thought he would be the catalyst. Hugh at 11 and 10, you know, but the rest of his teammates really falling behind. And I, think, did they, I think they attempted to push B at the end again, Twice. didn't they? And it, yep. it, it just, it, both times, it, it just didn't work out. So I think it was a bit questionable. Yeah, I, I totally question that B push. I mean, you started the game knowing that legal is going to be behind that head glitch. They come into the final round here, hoping that maybe, you know, they're going to see another four-man battle on the A Street like they had in round 10. But, uh, man, Prof just called their bluff. And, I mean, TJ, he went 2-9. and nine. Ricky only 3-7 and seven in that one. But I, I really felt like it was just Prophecy who were taking advantage of the aggressive pushes there from, from Stunner, who had some very nice rounds. But in the end, it was Prof who outplayed him. Duff, yeah, final thoughts before the break? I'm just excited for finals. Oh, God. Prophecy, denial. This is going to be a good one, guys. I don't think you're going to want to miss it. I like it. Swanee, sorry I cut you off there. Yeah, I, I was just going to mention, I don't think I've ever seen so many 6-5s in a tournament. I don't think I've seen an SD which hasn't gone to 6-5. So I far. said I was going to go 6-5. He did. Okay. He did. I was right about half my prediction. You were right about half of it. You were right Please. about half of yours as I, well. Okay, so together, you know? Duffman, we have a decent <laughs> prediction. Uh, I had one prediction that is still holding true. Denial wins this tournament. We'll see how wrong I am when we return. Don't go anywhere, guys. The 2K continues live on MLG.TV.